So if the market closes low in its range, so this is kind of the idea is, is okay, so you have the range of the market, you know, 30 points, 35 points, whatever it is. Where did the market close? Did it close, you know, in the middle part of the range balance? Did it close to the upper or lower part of the range uh, unbalanced? Okay, what was the tendency at the end of the day? Remember, so when George Taylor was in the pits, he was looking and looking at the activity of these large uh, money traders, and it wasn't what they were doing midday, more so what were they, they did at the end of the day. Okay, so how did the market close? What type of momentum did the market have at the end of the day? All right, and so that became always, always, uh, and I'm sure everybody's aware of this, but the low or the high of any day is a key reference point. And what happens? What happened at the end of the day? So, uh, did it? You know, wh where did it close in its range? All right, and it's important. And each day has an idea, you know, each cycle day has um, some criteria about where the expected close will be, all right? Again, not being predictive, but just looking back historically, what would be the tendency on a cycle one or two or three day, all right? So, the, so then the idea then is if the move uh, generates a violation or a penetration of, of that reference point, the question becomes, uh, does that violation or penetration, meaning the, the move above or below the prior high, is that accepted or is it rejected? Okay, and these are some core things that you should probably be asking yourself already, even without knowledge of the three-day cycle, is what's happening at these, is the market accepting this level? Because if the market is, is accepting a level beyond the prior range, then the, the probabilities then begin to favor further expansion beyond the range. But if they just push it up, and the market you know doesn't have support for that upper level or lower level the markets will again then get rejected all right it'll reverse so we need to measure at what point beyond the prior range beyond the prior day's range is the market more likely to find a support or resistance reaction all right what we would call an automatic reaction and we're going to show that today all right, so if the price is rejected, it's going to come back into the, re, uh, into the range and, and the market will be looking for a reversal.